Okay, so I'm setting up my next frame. So this was what I have in my stage, my next frame. I really like setting it up side by side. I can see that my clouds are different. I can see that my character's position is different. And of course, I got the little impact blast and the, the cake pops are being pushed down. So I'm ready to go. So now that I've set up my frame and assets, I'm gonna tell you the workflow. And I might even, let's see, I'll even write it out in a sticky. So here we go. So if you're gonna jot it down in your notes, it's not something I'm gonna test you on, but it's something you need to know for this project. So Photoshop moving assets to frame or to stage, sorry. I'm gonna say asset frames to stage. And this is what's called a workflow. So I know it's small there. I can make it bigger after. Well, I'll make it bigger now. Okay. So step one, set up your desired frame in with, I'll say, your asset layers. Remember, your asset file will have lots and lots of layers. I just did that. I set up all my layers, set them in the place I want, the clouds, the character, the movement blast, you know, just controlling all these pixels, that's compositing. Number two, click on, or select, I'll say, select top, most visible layer. Mine is this cloud group. Visible means it has the eyeball. I'm not using this lollipop, so I always go beneath it. And I'm keeping it just in case, but I'm not really sure why. But that's fine. Okay. Select top most visible layer. This is in Photoshop. Next, Command A. This is to select all. So you can always go to edit, select all. So let me do that. Command A. If I didn't want to do that, I could go to edit, select all. Not edit, select all. So this is why it's good to write it out sometimes. So select arrow to all. And you'll see the little marching ants around the whole thing. Next, you're going to do command C. And on a PC, it would be control instead of command. And this is for edit copy. So I have it all selected. I can go to Edit, Copy, or I can hit Command-C. Now, I click on my stage file. And I screwed up, and you'll see what happens. Because if I now paste it on my stage file, this is what happens. That doesn't look good. So what did I do? I copied it. I'm missing a very important step here. Select top most visible layer. And then your third step is to hold down option. This is the kind of trickiest thing. While clicking on layer merge visible. 
So this is called a non-destructive merge. So then this is going to be step four. So you'll see how important that step is. It's easy to get ahead of yourself. All right, so I've set up my desired frames with my asset file layers. I've selected the topmost visible layer. Now I'm going to hold down Option. <coughs> Excuse me. Which is Alt for a PC. I'm going to hold down Option, and I'm going to go to Layer, and then Merge Visible. That gives me a new layer that's selected that's combined. Now I do Command A to select all, Command C to copy, and then click on my stage file. Next, Command V, which is Edit Paste. And there's my next frame. Then I'm going to add this step, which I haven't always been doing. Command S to save stage file. Because whenever you add a new animation frame, it makes sense to save it. Command S. Now, I'm not done. <laughs> step 9. Click on Assets File. Let me do that to get back here. Then you have to click Command D to deselect. You can see where these shortcuts really help. And then you have to hit Delete. To delete merged layer. And then you start again. So there we go. So now we start again. I have to hit Command D to deselect and then delete to delete that merged layer. And now I build my frames again. So what's next? I'm going to move the clouds. And I'm going to play with the opacity. And then I'm going to turn off my creature, turn off the special effect, and turn off the cake pops. So they're gone. And remember, I need to shift my background a little bit. Just drop it down like that. All right now, I've set up my desired frames, my desired frame and my assets. And now i got to capture this. So what do I do? Select the topmost visible layer. Hold down Option while I go to Layer Merge Visible. Command A to select all. Command C to copy. Click on my stage. Command V to paste it in. That's my next frame. And then Command S to save my stage. And now I go back to my assets. Command D to deselect. Delete. And now I start over. Setting up my next frame. And you can always hit Command-0 to recenter. So I might put that. Because it's really nice to have them centered and matching. All right, so now I go from this. What happens next? I look at my sketch.
So I'm going to move the clouds back a little bit more. And I'm going to shift the land back down like that. And then I just save this frame. Topmost visible layer, hold down option, layer, merge visible. Command A, Command C, Command V. Command S to save it. Right. And I'm going to do that a few more times. So go back to my assets, Command D to deselect, delete that merge layer, move the clouds some more, change their opacity. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, Command C, or Command A, Command C, Command V. It's funny, I've never actually had it written out for me, but it's a nice crutch. It helps. Now, if I was really clever and I didn't want to have to do all this work in between, I could just copy these frames. really from frame 13, frame 12, frame 11, frame 10. So what I could do on the stage, this is called animating in the stage, I'm just going to replay these frames, 10, 11, 12, 13. Select them all, duplicate them all, Command J, and then just move those up to the top. Oh, I can't do that. Nope. See, I thought I could save the time, but what is what do these frames have that the others didn't? The kick pops. Right? So I just have to do the work. That's why animation is a pain. Thought I could be clever, but nope. So now I've got to basically move through these clouds. I've got two. I know I need at least two more, maybe three more. So that's why it's, it's always good to test it. Deselect, delete the merge layer, move these clouds again, but at least it's just animating these clouds. And I can always play with opacity. And then go to my topmost visible layer, option, layer, merge visible, Command A, Command C, click on my stage, Command V, and Command S to save it. Command D to deselect, delete the merge layer, move the clouds some more, maybe fade them out just a tiny bit. And Option, Layer, Merge Visible, Command A, Command C, Command V. So it's taking a lot of frames and a lot of effort to move these clouds, but that's what gives me kind of the calm before the surprise of my creature going down. So I'll just do one more and then introduce the creature again. Command D to deselect, delete those merged frames. Move these clouds. All right, and then option, layer, merge visible. Command A to select it all. Command C to copy it. Click on stage. Command V to paste in your next frame. Command S to save. All right, now I'm ready for my final row of my storyboard. This is when, like rule of threes, this is the third time something's happening, so I want it to be less expected. So I'm going to have three fall at once. But it is also a good time to save your stage, to deselect, select, deselect the merge one and save your assets, and to run an animation test on your stage.